Hey racers, John Racer 3 here today, back for another Hot Wheels tournament. Today, we have what I believe is the seventh iteration of the Hot Wheels Supercars Battle. I do this every year with a bunch of cars that I received and purchased at the Matchbox convention. And this year, I have picked out 27 cars to take on the track. But this year is going to be a little bit different for those of you guys who follow the series. You will know that it's been a two-lane turn track for the last six Six years of me making these tournaments and now I'm going to be mixing it up and we're going to be doing a fat track drag strip for this tournament and as you can see we have all of the cars lined up here and we have some fantastic matchups so let's go ahead and take a look at those before we get racing Starting off from the bottom, we have a Lamborghini Sean FKP37 going up against a Porsche 911 GT3 in red, going up against a moving parts Pagani Huayro Roadster from Matchbox. We'll see how fast that car is. Next up, we have a rally battle with the Audi 90 Quattro, a new for 2023 model from Hot Wheels, a Ford Escort RS2000, and then 84 Audi Sport Quattro, so two Audis in that rally group there. We have a Renault Sport RS01, a Corvette C6R, and then we have an old Dale Earnhardt car, a NASCAR diecast taking on the fat track. It'll look real cool, but will it be fast? We're going to have to find out. Next up for our next matchup, we have another hypercar matchup. We have a Bugatti Devo, a Porsche 918 Spyder, and an Automobili in red there. Those are going to be some fast cars and some cars to look out for. Next up, we have a 71 Lamborghini Mira SV, a DMC DeLorean, and a 94 Bugatti EB110. That Bugatti is unbelievably fast as a casting, so we'll see if it goes all the way in this tournament. Next up, we have a Subaru WRX SDI going up against a Mitsubishi Pajero versus a Mazda Cosmo. These are some of the some of the miscellaneous cars taking on this tournament. I'm excited to get that Mitsubishi open. It's going to look really cool. We have a 2021 Ford Bronco, a Rivian RIT, and a 2020 Corvette. We have a Matchbox matchup there. Looking real nice. Next up, we have some JDM with an 82 Toyota Supra, the Nissan Skyline Godzilla version, and the Liberty Walk Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia. A lot of nice JDM cars. And for the final matchup, we have a BMW i8 Roadster, a Tesla Model Y, and then another Tesla Roadster. Did I say Tesla Roadster? A BMW i8 Roadster, and then Tesla Roadster. So a few Roadsters, few Teslas in that final matchup. And then it is tradition for me on this tournament to open some of the super treasure hunts that I received at that convention. Otherwise, they will just be stuck in the box, and I will never open them ever. So we have a Lotus Avia and a DW1 Dan Welton Indy car. So let's go ahead. Let's get all of these cars open, take a look at how they look on the track, and let's get racing. All right, and now we have all the cars unboxed and laid out. Let's take a look. These super treasure hunts looking absolutely beautiful in the light. Super shiny, looking good. And some other notable cars. We have this black Tesla Roadster looking real cool. The Godzilla sky Skyline looks amazing as always. The reflective silver on that Bugatti. And then this Audi Quattro is so wide. It is an absolutely beautiful casting. We've got Dale Earnhardt there ready to race on the fat track. And of course that Porsche looking absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here's how it's going to work. The first round is going to be the first car to one win, winner take all for the first race. Second round is going to be the first car to two wins. And then the final round will be the first car to three wins. And then the champion will be crowned on the fat track drag strip. And it'll be more of a king of the hill style thing on this fat track drag strip for whatever tournaments happen on this on this track in the future so let's go ahead and get started because these cars are ready to race all right we have our first round laid out on the track and ready to race we have the lamborghini sean on the outside we have the porsche in the middle and the pagani on the inside let's see who takes it in three two one it's gonna be close it's gonna be the porsche though just Barely edging out the Sean, taking the win and moving on. All right, for our next matchup, we're going on the other side of the bracket. We've got our Roadsters. We have the Tesla Roadster on the outside, the Tesla Model Y on the middle, in the middle, I mean, and then we have the BMW i8 Roadster on the inside. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. Oh, it's going to be close, but look at that. The BMW forms a barricade, not allowing the Tesla Model Y or the Tesla Roadster to get by. And it's going to be the BMW i8 taking today's win. Next up on the track, we have our JDM battle with the Toyota Supra on the outside, the Nissan Skyline in the middle, and the Nissan Silvia Widebody on the inside. Let's see who takes this race in three, two, one. Oh, and it's not even going to be close. Godzilla destroys the competition, beating out the Sylvia and the Supra. It's going to be the Skyline taking the win and moving on.
Next up, we have our rally cars, and hopefully this doesn't get confusing. We have the Audi 90 Quattro and the Audi 84 Sport Quattro on the outsides, and then we have the Ford RS2000 in the middle. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. Oh, look at that. It is a wreck fest, and they don't get to the end. We're going to do a re-race. And I'm going to re-rack them with the fastest car being on the outside. So it's going to go Ford, Audi, other Audi. All right, let's see if they can get to the end of the track without wrecking each other. Let's try it again. Oh, and look at that. The 90 Audi Quattro is going to dominate from that middle lane, dominating the Ford and the other Audi. It's the 90 Quattro taking the win. Next up, we have our race car starting on the inside with the Corvette C6R. We have Dale Earnhardt in the number three in the middle lane. And then we have the Renault Sport RS01 on the outside. Let's see who takes it for the race cars in three, two, one. And look at that. It is a drag race all the way down to the end. It's going to be the Renault Sport beating out the Corvette to the line. And Dale Earnhardt not able to bring the speed to the fat track. The Renault is going to take it. Next up on the track, we have a Matchbox battle with the Matchbox Ford Bronco on the inside, the Rivian in the middle, and the Corvette C8 on the outside. Let's see who takes it for Matchbox in three, two, one. Oh, look at that. The Rivian is going to block the Bronco, not able to finish the track. So we're going to get a re-race. Corvette just spun out. That was disappointing. All right, the, the way they finished that last race has determined where they're starting now. Let's see if they can finish it in round two. And look at that, it's going to be the Rivian blocking out the Bronco and the Corvette to take the win. No speed out of that Corvette, but the Rivian shows it has what it takes and is going to move on to the next round. Next up, we have our next hypercar battle with the Bugatti Devo on the inside, the Porsche 918 in the middle, and the Automobili on the outside. Let's see what happens in 3, 2, 1. Oh, look at that, the Automobili is going to dump the Porsche into the Bugatti a very dirty move, but it's going to be enough for him to finish the track and take the win. The Automobili in red is going to be taking the win and moving on to the next round. Next up, we have our miscellaneous battle with the Cosmo on the outside, the Pajero in the middle, and the WRX from Subaru on the inside. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. Oh, look at that. The Pajero is going to pull the speed. The Cosmo and the Subaru both have the speed, but it's not enough to beat the Pajero, who is going to be taking the win for Mitsubishi and moving on to the next round. And finally, our scariest matchup yet. We've got the retro supercars. We've got the DMC DeLorean on the inside. We have the Lamborghini Miura in the middle. Not sure how fast that car is going to be, but it looks pretty fast. And then the notoriously fast Bugatti EB110 on the outside. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. And look at that mirror go. The mirror is going to shoot up the middle, just getting out of the way before the DMC crashes and blocks the Bugatti, who unfortunately does not move on. And it's going to be the mirror taking the win and moving on to the next round. Just like that, our first round is over, and here are the nine victors. We've got the Porsche 911, the BMW i8 Roadster, and the Nissan Skyline. We have the Audi Quattro, the Renault Sport, and the Rivian. And then we have the Automobili, the Pajero, and the Lamborghini Miura. Now, these next races are going to be the first cut of two wins, and the way they're going to re-rack after the first race is based on how far they finish down the track, regardless of whether or not they bounce off that finish line or not. So let's go ahead and get started with our first matchup. We have the Porsche, the BMW, and the Nissan. Starting race number one, we have the Porsche on the inside, the BMW in the middle, and the Nissan on the outside. Let's see who takes in three, two, one. And wow, that was some serious defense played by the BMW, who was going to be taking the first win. And man, were they beating and banging down to the end. Race number two in the lanes have changed. We have the Nissan on the inside, Porsche in the middle, and BMW on the outside. One more win for the BMW, and he's on to the finals. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. And it's going to be the Nissan beating and banging on the BMW, getting his first win on the inside. The Porsche, unfortunately, gets wrecked, and it's going to be the Nissan taking his first win. And now he's starting in the middle. The middle is objectively the best lane for these races, but if the cars on the outside have the speed it takes to win, then they are past the car on the middle by the time the car in the middle is leaning on them, possibly wreck them, and win the race. So now the car on the outside, the BMW, and the car in the middle, the Skyline, both have one win. Can the Porsche get one win and tie it up? Let's see what happens in three, two, one. 
Oh, and it's going to be too close to call. I have to go back to replay to see which one of these behemoths have won the race. And based upon further investigation, it has been decided the Nissan was able to hit the barrier right before the BMW. The BMW put up a hard fight, but it's going to be the Nissan Skyline taking the win and moving on to the finals. Next up for our next matchup, we have a very mixed bag with the Audi Quattro in the in the middle lane. Or not the middle lane, on the bottom lane. We have the Renault in the middle lane, and then we have the Rivian on the outside lane. Who can get two wins first? Let's find out in three, two, one. And look at that, it is a little bit of a wreck fest. The Rivian pulls in front of the Quattro, allowing the Renault to get its first win. The Rivian and the Renault have switched lanes, but the Audi stays on the bottom. Can the Renault get one more win? Let's find out in three, two, one. Um. Wow, the Rivian's gonna crash again, taking out that Audi, a very unfortunate circumstance, and it's gonna be the Renault sweeping, getting its two wins and moving to the finals. And I mean, let's be honest, the Rivian did not have the speed in its first race, so it's very unfortunate it took out that beautiful Audi, but the Renault has the speed and is going to be representing in the finals. And for our final matchup before the finals, we have the Lamborghini Miro on the outside, the Mitsubishi Pajero in the middle, and the Automobili on the inside. Who can get two wins first? Let's find out in three, two, one. The is going to spin out by the Mira and it's going to be the Automobili getting its first win and is now starting on the inside again. Let's see what can happen in the second race. All right, let's see if the middle car can keep it straight. We have the Mira in the middle. We have the Automobili on the inside with one in. The Pajero on the outside with zero. Let's see who can take in three, two, one. To be the Mira spinning out, I believe the Automobili was able to get there first. I have to check the replay though, because that was a close race by all three of the cars. And upon further review, is also another match that was too close to call. But the call is now the Automobili just barely touched the inside block before that Mira did backwards. And what a race! The Automobili moves on to the finals. And here is your finals matchup. We have the Nissan Skyline, the Renault Sport RS01, and the Automobili Batista taking on the track. It's going to be the first car to three wins to determine the champion of this Supercars tournament. So let's just go ahead and get it started. What a mixed bag of manufacturers. We've got the Nissan on the outside, the Renault in the middle, and the Automobili on the inside. We have Japan versus France versus Italy. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. Renault. Renault is just going to barely squeeze by on the middle. Squeezed by both sides, actually. And it's going to be the Renault getting his first win. Renault gets the first win. Let's see what can happen. Three, two, one. And this time it's the Automobili from the middle lane taking the win. Showing some speed from that downhill. So it's one win for the Automobili. One win for the Renault. And none for Godzilla. Let's see if Godzilla has what it takes to tie it up on the bottom lane here. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. And it's going to be super close, but it's going to be the Automobili pushing the Renault to the inside, moving the side and taking his second win. One more and it's over. I must say the Automobili is in a great spot in that middle lane. One more win for him and it's over, but the Renault has some speed and maybe Godzilla can bring it back. Let's see what happens in this race. Three, two, one. Oh, and it's going to be the Automobili just barely losing it to the Renault, who gets there first. It's going to be a head-on-head -head matchup in the final race between these two cars, unless Godzilla can make something happen. But it looks like he's stuck on the inside, and it's not going to happen. Given that both of the red cars have two wins, I figured I'd just put the Nissan in the middle just to spice it up for you guys. So here's what can happen. If the Nissan wins, then we race again. But if one of the other cars win, it is all over. Let's see what happens in this. Could be the final race. Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Nissan pulling it out from the inside, getting his first win. And we're going to do one more race probably. Nissan on the outside, Automobili in the middle, and Renault on the inside, who will take it in three, two, one. Oh, and it's a wipeout with the upset. It is going to be the Renault sweeping across the track, taking out the GTR and the Automobili. It is the Renault Sport RS01 who is taking your victory in supercars today.
Thank you guys so much for watching. That was some crazy racing. If you want to see more racing like this on the Fat Track and you want to see some cars take on the Fat Track, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.